What's up guys? In today's video I'm going to show you the easiest, fastest options for meal prep that will help you burn fat and build muscle fast. And also this is a great video for beginners that are just looking to get started off on healthy meal prep. The other people that are going to benefit from this video are people that are looking for easy, fast options to get their meal prep out of the way fast. People that are short on time. So the method of meal prep that I'm going to be using today is not going to include a scale or counting calories because we want to keep this simple. And that simplicity is also the reason why we're only going to have three meals a day, not that crazy six meals a day stuff because nobody's got time for that. Just your regular breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So let's get started. So for breakfast, some really easy options. We got egg whites, Ezekiel wraps. The awesome thing about Ezekiel wraps is that it's sprouted green tortillas. So the live green difference. So there's like living ingredients in here. This has to be frozen. It has to be kept frozen or else it goes bad. Unlike your regular wraps, which will stay good forever because they're full of preservatives. You'll find these at the freezer section. We're also going to add three whole eggs. And the reason why we're doing that is because we're having one egg per day for five egg whites. So one to five ratio of eggs to egg whites. And we're also cooking for three days in advance. I really don't like to cook for the whole week in advance because then the food starts to get funky. But just three days in advance, this way you don't have to freeze it. You can just keep it in your fridge. If you want to cook for the whole week in advance, you can. Just multiply everything by seven rather than three if you want to cook for the whole week in advance. Next we got salsa for our wraps that we're going to make with the egg whites and the Ezekiel wraps. We're going to also top it with some goat cheese. And we're going to have spinach for our vegetables. Cool, so that's all breakfast. For every one of my lunch meals I want 6 ounces of chicken breast. So for 3 days 1.23 pounds is about exactly what I need. I'm also going to have sweet potatoes. And I'm going to show you a really easy way to cook your sweet potatoes fast. And for my veggies, I'm going to have frozen broccoli. This is a really easy way to cook your meal really, really quick. Now, to make the chicken more enjoyable, I'm going to put on some original barbecue sauce from Walden Farms. It's calorie-free, but what you have to be careful with is the amount that you put in. It's calorie-free for two tablespoons. Keep that in mind. So there is some sort of calories in this, but if you put the whole thing in, it's going to be a problem. So I'm going to add that to my chicken. I'm also going to add in some chipotle roasted garlic seasoning to the chicken. I'm going to season my veggies with vegetable magic. And for my sweet potatoes, I'm also going to add in some ground cinnamon to add some flavor. So that's lunch. And for dinner, I'm going to have 93.7 ground turkey, and it also has a total of 20.8 ounces, which divided by three gives me a little bit more than six ounces per day, which is what I'm looking for. For dinner, my veggies are going to be green beans. These are already snipped and washed, which saves you a lot of time. And I'm going to be using this ground turkey to stuff some peppers. To my stuffed peppers, I'm going to add in black beans, not a crazy amount because these do have carbs in them. Even though most people consider this a protein source, it's primarily a source of carbohydrates, then it's a source of protein. And again, I'm going to top this off with some salsa and some of that goat cheese. Awesome, so here we go. Just make sure you guys tune in until the end because I'm going to be throwing in some bonus meals. Okay, so I'm going to start with dinner first. I'm going to move all this stuff aside. The reason why I'm starting with dinner is because I have baking to do with dinner and that can be done while I'm doing other things. So I want to get that out of the way first. So my green beans, again, they're already washed. They're ready to go. So I just have to open this up. And then I want about three fists of green beans. So that looks to me about like three fists. Again, that's for three days. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil and I'm gonna season it with some vegetable magic. Remember, seasoning is not something you have to be afraid of. Then I'm just mixing it together. Now I preheat my oven to 400 degrees and you could wait for it to preheat, but I'm just gonna throw it right in there to save time for about 20 minutes, 25 since it's preheating. Cool, with the peppers now, I wanna obviously take the sticker off. I wanna core them out. Your final product should look something like this. For those of you that are looking to make your meals fancy, you could use this to cover it up when it's done and it looks really good. So I'll make one like that. Now we wanna soften up our peppers. So we're gonna take some nonstick spray and then put the peppers on here upside down. Cool, and then we're gonna throw it into the oven at about 375 to 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Forgot a top. We can jump to cooking the ground turkey right now, but I'm gonna cook my chicken first so it can be baked while I'm cooking my other things. So for my chicken, it's really simple. The fat's already been stripped off for me. Uh, if I see any pieces of fat that I wanna cut off, I could always cut them off. But as you can see, these are already pretty trimmed up. So pull out a baking sheet. Same idea here, spray it with some olive oil spray. And then we're throwing our chicken in here. And now we wanna add two tablespoons of the Walden Farms barbecue sauce per day. So we have three days, so we're gonna do a total of six tablespoons. 
Honestly guys, I just did four. Four is really all you need for this much chicken. And we're gonna season it with the chipotle roasted garlic seasoning. Now mix it all together. Cool, and now I'm gonna throw that in the oven at the same temperature, 400 degrees. And I just remembered I forgot to put garlic on the green beans, which definitely makes them taste so much better. So I'm gonna put some garlic on there now. So the garlic, I want the sauce and some garlic. I like quite a bit of garlic. Mix it all together, and that's gonna really make it taste a lot better. Cool, and I can throw that right back in the oven. With the ground turkey, I just wanna open it up and throw all this meat right in there. This is about three days worth, so about six ounces per day, a little bit more. I flatten it out to help it cook faster. I wanna put it on a high heat, and I'm gonna hold off before I start to season this. While that's cooking, I'm gonna take my broccoli, my frozen broccoli. I know that one of these has about two fists worth, and I want one fist per day, so I want a total of three fists, so I'm gonna need one and a half of these. Here's the second half. Cool, so that's like three days worth right there. And as you can see right here, it tells me that it wants about, for the entire package, it wants four tablespoons of water. So we need a total of about, I would say, six tablespoons of water. So I filled up about that much of a glass. Probably going to need a little more water. There we go. And I'm going to throw that right next to my turkey. Once this reaches a light boil, we're going to cover it and let it simmer. Okay, with the ground turkey, we definitely want to break it up. And now that it's almost cooked, we want to add in our seasoning. So we're going to use Italian seasoning, some smoked paprika, and I'm actually going to add in some chili powder. Cool, so this is basically done. And I think my peppers are ready. Cool, so peppers, we're just trying to, we just tried to soften them up a little bit, and they're good to go. 12 minutes is good. So now I want to move this to the side. I want to make sure that I take my beans and I strain them. The stuff that they put into the cans is nasty, so you want to make sure you wash all that off. So I'm going to bring my meat over and all I really need out of this, out of uh, the black beans, is a quarter of a cup for three days. I'm also adding some fresh salsa. You could add that in pretty sparingly because it's very low on calories. Mix it all together, add a little bit more salsa. Cool, this is going to be great. And now I just take my peppers and I stuff them one at a time. Fill them up as much as I can. These are really hot. Number two, done. Good. Three. I'm just going to take the rest of this and sprinkle it, distribute it amongst my meals. With this, I'm going to top each of these with a tablespoon of goat cheese. So that's about a tablespoon right there. Cool, so now I'm going to throw this back in the oven for a couple minutes and let them finish cooking. And I just saw that my chicken is pretty much done and so are my green beans. We're going to set the green beans aside for now while we cut up our chicken. While you're cutting your chicken, do not forget about your peppers because they're not going to cook for longer than 10 minutes and they'll be done. This chicken is literally so juicy when you bake it like this. Cool, so now we can set the chicken aside. So I just threw all the ground turkey into here, the leftovers, because I need to use this to cook up my eggs, this frying pan. But before I cook the eggs, I definitely want to get started on the potatoes. With the potatoes, super simple. You're just going to take the potato and you're going to put a bunch of holes in it. This way it doesn't explode on you in your microwave. Cool, so this is like literally the fastest way to cook these potatoes. I am gonna throw them into the microwave. And because I have so many, I'm probably gonna set it for a while. So let's set it for 12 minutes to start. So now we can go back to the eggs. So I'm about to get started on my egg whites, but it seems like my peppers just finished. Here is the finished product, and you could take one of these and cap one of them if you wanted to do it that way. Let me get this out of the way for now. Okay, so now with the egg whites, I have two cup measuring cup. I know that I'm going to have three whole eggs, and I want five egg whites for every whole egg. So I'll have one whole egg and five egg whites per day. Now, I know that for one egg white, it's the equivalent of three tablespoons of this. So since I want five egg whites, I know I'm going to need 15 tablespoons per day. In total, I'm going to need about 45 tablespoons, which is a little bit less than three full cups of egg whites. So here I got my two cup measuring cup, and I got another cup right here I'm gonna fill it up a little bit less than full so somewhere around there I'm gonna take my frying pan cover it with some olive oil cooking spray and then I'm gonna pour the egg whites right into here then I'm gonna take my whole eggs and throw them right in there and then I'm just gonna mix it all together so now I'm gonna throw my egg whites to cook right here I heat get them cooking and then I'm also gonna add in my spinach as soon as they cook and I want about a fist per day so three fists to spin it so it's gonna be about a package and a half 
Don't forget to salt. And while that's cooking, let's check on the sweet potatoes. Okay, so sweet potatoes are definitely not done. You could feel that they're kind of hard in the center. So I want to put them in there maybe for another five minutes at the most. So as soon as these start cooking a little, you could pretty much start adding your spinach in and about half of this one. Cool, now I just mix it all together. Cool, so that's ready now. All right, so sweet potatoes are totally done. They are really hot though. The best way that I like to do this, cut it in half and then just literally pop out the potato. So I'm just literally taking all the skin off. This is the simplest way that I found to do it. All right, try this one like this. It's actually a lot easier this way, guys. Cool, so now I could set this aside and then I could start laying out my meals. All right, so first we're gonna do breakfast. You grab a plate. And you want to make sure these Ezekiel uh, tortillas are fully defrosted before you start messing with them. These were sitting around while I was cooking so they were able to defrost. If you don't do that, then definitely make sure that you at least like heat them up a little bit uh, on the stove in a pan before you go and uh, try to mold these because they will not mold very easily. So I have the tortilla right there. And before I start filling these up, I'm going to put some more of the salsa into here. Mix it all together. And I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of goat cheese as well. Definitely wanna keep this under three tablespoons. So under a tablespoon a day, mix that in there. So guys, about three tablespoons of goat cheese. And now we are ready to go. This stuff looks delicious. So now we grab our Ezekiel wrap, and then we're just gonna wrap it. Cool, so that one's done. Next one, done. All right, so there's breakfast right there. Let's move it aside. For lunch, we want to mash up our sweet potatoes and we also want to add in some cinnamon. Guys, cinnamon makes it taste like candy. It makes it taste so good. And just mix that all together. For each of my lunch meals, I want about a cup of sweet potatoes. So this actually turned out perfect. I got exactly a cup in each one of these meals. Awesome, I also want to add in my broccoli. And then I finally want to add in my chicken. Oh my God, it smells so good. Sweet, so that's lunch. I'll give you guys calories for all these meals in a second. Let's just finish up dinner. For dinner, I wanna divvy up these extras between the meals. Then I wanna add in my green beans. And then last but not least, the pepper. And as I'm adding the pepper in, I just realized I'm definitely gonna need larger meal prep containers for this meal. So you can add on the top piece for more of a decorative look, but uh, that's essentially it. Now I wanna give you guys a quick calorie and macro breakdown for all of these meals. Okay, so calories for breakfast, we got 563 calories, 42 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, and 17 grams of fat. That's from the egg whites, five egg whites, one whole egg, one tablespoon of goat cheese, and two wraps. For lunch, we have the chicken, the sweet potato, the broccoli, totaling 446 calories, 41 grams of protein, 64 grams of carbs, and 6 grams of fat. And then for dinner, we have the bell pepper, the turkey, the black beans, the green beans, the olive oil in the green beans, and then the goat cheese. And the total for that is 514 calories, 35 grams of protein, 18 grams of carbs, and 34 grams of fat. The total for all these meals for the day is 1,523 calories, 118 grams of protein, 131 grams of carbs, and 57 grams of fat. Now, me being a 200 pound man, these are great meals, however, there's not enough protein in here, so I would add on an additional two protein shakes for the day. Each protein shake would have about 125 to 140 calories with about 30 grams of protein. So my total calories at the end of everything would be 1,773 calories, so right around 1,800, 178 grams of protein, 135 grams of carbs, and 57 grams of fat. That would include two protein shakes. One last thing, if you want some really easy grab-and-go options, you got Greek yogurt, just plain, non-flavored. You don't want to get the one with flavors in it because it's going to have a whole ton of extra sugar. And then add your own berries to it. So you can grab two of these and about a fist of these and like you're done. Breakfast is done right there. That's like an easy grab and go breakfast. And then like an easy grab and go lunch or dinner would literally, you could buy this at the store in a packet and it's already like cooked. All you got to do is microwave it and you can combine it with pink salmon in a packet. Boom, these two, you got yourself a meal. All you need is like some frozen veggies. That's it. And you got yourself a meal. So that's like super, super done for you easy. I just tasted some of the food. It tastes amazing. One thing that you want to keep in mind is that this diet plan is designed around me. So I'm like 200 pounds. If you're under 170 pounds or if you're a woman, then make sure that you go and you cut your carbs in half. So instead of using two Ezekiel wraps, you'll only use one. And then whatever you have left over with the eggs, you could just put to the side of your meal. And then with your sweet potatoes, you would cut that in half as well so you would only be having half a cup of sweet potatoes in each meal 
In total, that would save you close to 300 calories between both those meals. And even with the protein shakes on top of that, that's a range of calories that pretty much anybody can lose weight on. So I really hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also hit that thumbs up button. It helps motivate me to make more videos like this and help more people out just like yourself. Also, if you want a done for you guide, visit my website, check out the fat loss Kickstarter. It's got the whole meal program done for you with all the variety and all the different foods that you want and you don't have to do any guesswork. It's all done for you. So if you're interested in that, visit my website. Other than that, make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time. I'm pissed.